I don't know how to use my machine. Okay, you, candid porno it was my first job out of high school. I was hired as a trainee in a large engine reconditioning company. It was one of those family-run businesses that started in the backyard and grew to the point where they might have been making millions, but they were likely spending just as much. All the family members worked there in all the top positions. So you were never going to move up the ladder. I was stationed at an old milling machine. No computer, no smart tech. You mounted a cylinder head in the bay. You manually dragged the milling head over, visually lowered it until it made contact, then raised it up a one hundredth of a millimeter, turned the mill on and manually wound the head across the part you will mill. I got pretty good at using this mill. The average heads milled per day was around 21. In one day I'd sometimes do 50. But luckily the worker in the station next to me caught on and when I was about to report my day's worth of work, he said 21. I was still young and dumb, so I proudly said 50. He corrected me. 21. Tomorrow you pretend to work. Light bulb moment that I always remember to this day. I'm in my 40s now. So, from then on I'd work hard one day, and have an easy day the next. One day the mill needed serious maintenance. The company was so tight that they didn't regularly maintain any of the machines. They waited until they needed repairs. I wrote down the issue I had and mentioned that this mill was not operational. At any random moment, the mill would jump and the head would drop about a millimeter. The diamond tips would gouge the cylinder head and most of the tips would snap. Expensive. Instead of being told thanks for reporting it, we'll get it fixed right away. They told me off for being abusive to the machine, that I didn't know how to use it correctly. Normally when something like this happened, and it happened a lot, they would demote you to the acid wash or the camshaft bearing resurfacer, the shittest job in the company. But instead they sent me to the new laser-guided computerized mill, which was also out of order but had been waiting for the tech to come and resolve the issue. The guide probe that was used when you initially put a new part in there was malfunctioning. The machine would sense the part, and instead of stopping, Resetting and then sense the part again at a higher resolution. It would smash the probe into the part and break the tip. Costing lots of money. I tried to tell the supervisor that the machine he was sending me to was out of order. But he shut me up before I even opened my mouth. He jumped on the old mill and made me stick around to show me how to do it properly. The mill couldn't have fucked up at any better moment. About 30% into the job, the head dropped a few centimeters, not millimeters, smashed into the head. The head went flying off the otherwise pretty solid mounts. Scary moment. Being an old man, you could run this without the guard door shut, which the supervisor did. I went to say to please shut the door, but he shut me up again. Fine, I stood well away. Guess which direction the cylinder head went flying. Right at him. Hit him in the chest. Winded him. Knocked him to the floor and I immediately called an ambulance. He was rushed off to hospital and returned to work with some broken ribs. It didn't end there though. He blamed me for everything upon returning to work and said he hoped I continued working on the other mill. I was stationed at the acid wash by another supervisor, another family member. A big box with a cage. We dumped parts into it. And back out. Simple. Menial. Perfect. Nothing could really go wrong. I went to say the other mill was broken too. And I tried to remind him that the probes kept snapping. He wanted none of it. Once again showing me how to use the fancy mill. He instructed me to lift the cylinder into the mill and mount it. He programmed the mill for that model head. 
closed the door, and pressed start. The probe came down and kept going, shattering into the head. He swore so hard he hurt his ribs. Do you want me to go back to the acid wash now until this is fixed? I got sent to the area where we removed head studs. Better than the wash. We used blow torches. I guess he didn't want to be told what to do. TLDR. Faulty machine reported. Didn't listed to worker. Hospitalized injuries ensue. Return to work. Still don't listen to me. Break more expensive stuff.